Yeah, this video here will show you how to save stuff that you think you've lost on your computer or your laptop. So my Windows would not start at all. It would just say error, error won't start. So I tried install putting in a Windows disk and trying to partition the drive so that it saved as Windows old and I could still access my pictures and stuff. But I didn't have enough room on my hard drive. I only had 3 gig left and you need 10. So I thought I was pretty much screwed. I tried to start up repair, didn't do nothing. System restore, there was no dates. System image recovery, well I don't have that. I did the diagnostic test and some command prompt stuff. Well none of it worked. So I went to system image recovery. Can't find it. No that's right, I don't have nothing to give you so... Cancel that. Select a sim system image. Next. Nope, see? Don't have nothing. If you go to advanced in this, I've searched image on a network. Nothing. So I can install a driver that is on my computer. Well, I don't have one, but let's do that anyways. See? Okay. Don't have one. So here, it lets you look at your hard drive of stuff that you can't access, really. See? This is my computer all this stuff that I wanted to save that I thought I lost pictures and stuff you can't really do nothing with it so what I've done is I've put in an uh, external hard drive plugged it in and it actually shows up here when you click on this right there my passport so you can what I've done is open up your C drive you go down to whatever you want to save your, your pictures, videos, files See, here's pictures, you right click on it, copy, go back, and go to your external hard drive, right here. And then, it will let you paste it. That way you get to save all your stuff, it's on your hard drive. After you do that, save all your stuff, then you can format your, your hard drive. And have a clean laptop again and you won't lose all your stuff you'll have it here see I couldn't do that before because I only had 3.26 gig left and it takes 10 gig to partition it to do a clean installation and still keep your stuff so I thought I was pretty much screwed but you can get around it that way by plugging in the external hard drive and copying your important files to your to your drive that way so that's what I did, in case anyone else can use this. I pretty much did it so I don't forget what I did, but if anyone else can use it, good for them too. Alright, bye.